Hi, my name is Rufus Mbugwa and I'm a senior developer at Andela with a focus in PHP and JavaScript. In this video, we'll be talking about the evolution of chatbots and how you can use them to solve real-world problems. We shall be looking at the various ways you could set up a chatbot, ways to interact with the customer, and a few use cases on the scene. As per a survey done by Oracle, almost 80% of businesses plan to use chatbots by 2020. Gartner forecasts that by 2020, over 85% of customer interactions will be handled by chatbots without a human. Chatbots make data access more conversational and easier to understand. There are several things you can do with chatbots, such as running a customer care service, training staff, and even booking a cab on a ride-sharing app. For this video, I'm going to be focusing on how to get weather information for virtually any location. And for this, we'll be using the following tools. Telegram, which is the bot provider. Dark Sky for the weather lookup. MapQuest to translate place names into geocodes. Wheat AI for processing the user requests. And Google Maps for the location snapshot. In using these tools, we should be able to send the message weather in Mombasa and get a response with the weather data like so. You will need API keys for all services listed above, which are Telegram, MapQuest, Dark Sky, Wheat AI, and Google Maps. So now I'm going to show you how to create a chatbot for Telegram using Node.js, and I'll show you how to install the packages that you need to create the chatbot. So what we have now is three core files. We have the bot controller, we have the roots that are going to help us access the data, and then we have the core file. So in the core file, we're going to actually use the different API keys that I talked about earlier. What you need to do is come into the .env, that's here. And these are, of course, supposed to be secret, so make sure you use your own API keys that you get from the different websites. Put in your Telegram key, your wit AI token, Dark Sky, MapQuest API, and these, uh, there's a Google Maps API here. The rest are just for testing, so don't worry about those. So we come back to the core, and we're going to use Telegraph as a main package to communicate with Telegram. We're going to use Telegraph Wit for communication with the Wit AI. And we're going to create two different components. We have Telegraph and we have Wit. All of them are going to be for the bot. So then we come here to the controller and we require all the packages that we need. We have the core bots. We have MapQuest, Dark Sky. We have Lodash, Moment, Google Maps, API, Async. Um, so what's important here is we have this core function that's supposed to receive a message from Telegram. So what happens first is that when you hit Telegram and you send a message, welcome to Mombasa, we're going to run this command. We're going to get here, use bot.wit, which is going to use wit AI, to use the message that you sent to translate it into something usable. So what comes back from wit AI is a JSON file that has different components like intents, including location and what you want to do with that location. So we're going to actually pick the location um, send it to MapQuest and get geocoded data, which is the latitude and the longitude. Once we get that information, we send it to Google Maps API because we want to get an image. So we center it. We just set a few variables like the size, the kind of map we want to use, and we reply with that static map. But at the same time, we take the same uh, latitude and longitude and we give them to Dark Sky, where it's going to run a query to get um, the weather minute by day or hourly and it could send a large array. So what we're doing down here is that we have a clean array function. That function takes the data we get from Dark Sky and translates it into something that a user can actually understand, uh, separating the temperature, using Celsius, using cool emojis, like for the thermometer and time to show when that weather is expected to come. And then we take all that and send it back to the user. Once we've done all that, we come back to the roots. Here we're going to have a couple of components, just like the index. We're going to have the bot controller we just worked on, and we're going to make sure that we point to the bot controller, which is done here. Once you've configured your bot on app.js, you can now go to your terminal to the root folder and run npm start. This is going to start the Telegram bot, and it could be polling, waiting for you to send your message. 
In this video, we explored the possible applications of chatbots by running weather queries. We created a bot on Telegram, we translated user text into usable intents, and we responded with user-friendly weather information. Although we used JavaScript for this tutorial, this can also be done in other popular languages. If you want to check out the code, you could clone the repository at my GitHub link that I included in the description of the YouTube video below. Also, if you want to make use of the tools we use to obtain the required API keys and documentation for each of the components that make up these chatbots, I've included the links in the description of the video. For more information, or if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.